and gentlemen, the next bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. MMA competition according to Pride rules in the welterweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, he weighs in at 77 kilograms even, with an undefeated professional record of four wins, with all his victories coming in round one of competition. Returning to us after a first round knockout at FFC 14 in Ljubljana last month, representing Bulgaria, please welcome Vladislav Kanchev. And his opponent in the red corner weighs in at 77.2 kilograms with a professional record of 11 wins and six losses with all his victories coming by way of knockout or submission. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, let's hear it for Ivan the Braveheart Gluhart. So here we go, Richard. We have Bulgaria versus Croatia. We have Vladislav Kanchev, and with the tail of the tape. Corner. Vladislav comes with four wins, four KOs, and only one draw. He hasn't had a single loss. And facing him with the Ivan. Time. Ivan Fight. Ivan Blue Heart. His record is 11 wins and six losses. Both these guys, 77 kilos. Yeah, yeah. Heavy the, uh, yeah, moving into welterweight. And have you noticed that Ivan is wearing the boxing shoes, isn't he? Uh, which is allowed in pride. Well, people uh, wonder. There's a lot of uh, controversy about people wearing these. Richard, are your thoughts? Yeah, th I think this comes from a more well, the wrestling style. Um, probably showing his hand a little bit by wearing the, the wrestling boots. But he's come out and play, started playing a striking game, so maybe it was a little bit of misdirection. Well, he takes a stiff right hook there, early doors. Right, he's got that written right across his, uh, his glutes. <laughs> Glutimus Maximus. And with the bad boy shots, his opponent representing Bulgaria, Vladislav Kachev. Nice up the top. Looks very adept in the, uh, the boxing skills, Richard. Yeah, very, very sharp, very fast. And this tattoo, sorry, just off subject. I'm blue height, I'm just admiring that. Sorry. The it's war a, horse look. Yeah. But I think, uh, yeah, Vladislav, he hasn't tasted loss yet. He hasn't, he hasn't lost a fight yet, which I think is quite, quite an important factor. And probably why they, they were happy to, to give away a bit of experience. Yeah, I'm just going to just beat me to the punch there, Rich. Excuse me, but yeah, <laughs> 11 wins, six losses, so 17 fights, six losses to five. Um, but like you said, an undefeated man there. So you know, um, six losses from Ivan, which means he is beatable. Um, but yet to test defeat. It's the man from Bulgaria. Both fight is in orthodox stance, the left stance, the left guard. A lot of faking going on, just kind of pouring that jab out, testing range, testing distance. Both guys the bangers as well, and that's probably why they've been both tested a little bit. And when you're wearing four ounce gloves, Ooh, nice inside low kick there, though, from your back. The knockout blowing any of those punches, especially with those, it's just like having the leather hand wraps on the chest. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the thing is, as well, with the, with the wrestling boots, you can create more. Great more traction. Yeah, so Bill's put a little get leave faster, one Yeah, you can get you can get faster shoots, you can get heavier punches. You just start losing a little bit of the dexterity on, on the feet, and if they if they start going for foot locks, then you, you lose the this the ability to slip your slip your foot out. So there's the advantages and disadvantages explained there from Richard Cannon, a fabulous man from York, beautiful city in England. Nice and important. Uh, it is very sunny. Sunny by the sea. Not very sunny. 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 Not very s
to that out and you can see it how the length of the stance is the only thing that's going to come from there like i said is the hands are possibly a shoot but they've not done that yet early doors saying that but not three and a half minutes where did that go rather fast again good matchmaking both fighters same body shape oh yeah, heavy right, right hand. hand over the top richard there boom uh, yes, nice. Well, saying yes, same, same well, well, glue, glue Hag just smiled and nodded and carried on with business. <laughs> well, that's what I like about these guys. Yeah, well conditioned, absolutely up for this fight, the pair of them. Well, like I was saying, both the same height, same build, same weight. The, the experience difference basically balanced out by the actual win ratio, though, like you said. So, again, great matchmaking here from uh, Marco Petrak sat there inside with the man, the visionary of FFC, the inventor, the president, the man who can, Mr. Osat Zovkov, just sat left adjacent from us. He's just been telling us he's been all over, he's been to America, maybe to London, and back it's to Croatia. There's more air miles than uh, well, the Richard Branson. Swing it, swinging some really heavy leather. Yeah, and some nice inside low kicks from both fighters, testing the leg. That overhand right, right hook, swinging in for both guys. Both guys, isn't it? He's the target there. Both again. Very equal. Stop! Very much so. And a great handshake from each other there. Respectful <laughs> slap of the glove to it. Do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> that shows that these two have got absolutely the full word of MMA, mixed martial arts, sportsmanship, and martial art way. Two modern day warriors and gladiators. Back in some of the action. The big girl softens the tone from all that testosterone. Everything rhymes. The shot's just narrowly missing. The knowledge, the white down. We're ready. All we need is the bell. No fat lady singing. I can't sing, I can't sing Richard. Time. Fight. Here we go. Round two. Blue Hack seems to be like looking to push that pressure more. Turn to the right, stand up slug fest this Richard, isn't it? You're pointing yeah, but, that out and Yeah, but Vladislav is just very patient, very clinical with his, with his replies. Great matchup in styles. Totally agree. Just point out that jab, trying to test the range and distance. Again, some heavy, heavy shots going in, some nice shoes. Intermittent grappling. Lots of crowd appreciation around the stadium. Now, what a beautiful stadium this is. The Jatika Sports Centre in Porich. Looks like a spaceship has landed. It's a fabulous arena in the seaside city of Porich. But it's about the action here, and these two have been very content to just throw bombs, hands. We've seen a few inside low kicks attempted for the takedown, Richard, but not seen any groundwork yet. Not yet, not yet. I mean, they, these are two really strong, powerful guys. They're very respectful of each other's ranges. A nice little football kick to the to the kneecap. Yeah, and takes an inside low kick back. So now that. <laughs> if you want to play a kicking game, just pouring that jab out and testing range. Blue Hag just takes a solid right hand, but smiles, smiles and nods and steps back in. Great. Well, the jabs are going in. The fighters are still doing what they did in the first round, testing each other out with some great shots. Well, they're both slick as well, Richard. They move and defend well too, don't they? They're attacking their offensive and defensive skills are both equal. Well, I, I think you can see why Vladislav has, has, has had so many KOs on his record. Coconuts. Both guys hacking away at the front legs. Trying to 
just distract from the hands. A little tactic there, Muay Thai as well, a lot of uh, Muay Thai boxers do. And bring the hands down, keep, keep the legs in there, try and distract them. Yeah, some nice inside low kicks going here. But very fast replies, and he's swinging left hook and, and right hook. Well, this is this is what um, some of the guys are, are now promoting is like Cage Muay Thai. Yes, that's what John Wayne Parr is it? The, uh, the legend from, uh, from Australia who's uh, been doing that. And they, they just like Ireland, haven't they? Yeah, um, certainly. Yeah. Get yeah. That I know. Go, 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 go. I know good things again by others. Rapid fight. Big, big left hook yes. there. Solid left hook, Richard. Absolutely there. Coming right above where we are commentating here. We're getting the right best seats in the house. Thank you, FFC. This is absolutely fabulous fight action. We're only two fights in, Richard, and it's been, well, you know, just good, great matchmaking. And edge this is what it's all about. Yeah, edge of the seat action. Nice wrestling. This is well, single leg. The first shoot, and it comes by the way of the man from Bulgaria. Gets the shoot, but not fully complete because he gets back to his feet. And on we go. Well, a minute left. Nine minutes gone. It's been tough, tough, punching with the occasional, what we've just seen there inside, low kick and the stamps to the legs. It's been hands all the way. Inside low kick and the fight. Swinging away there between these two. 40 seconds remaining. One of these punches, knockouts behind them is just ball Serious fun. Stop. Well, look at that. Another, oh, another, high, another <laughs> high five. That's a solid high five. These, well. these, <laughs> these guys are loving it. I'll tell you what, the back from the egg one goes like These guys are absolutely loving it. This is, this is the action. This is what FFC is all about. It is. Well, one fight can you know, be off the paddling, they can be rounds off the floor. One fight can be, you know, tired. One fight can be kicked to the knees. Another fight can be like this, which is just. Big all the way. How close fighters are not marked on the court? I'll never know. But saying that, the boss, the, the defensive skills Richard, are really good. And even though they, they I mean, like that boom, party on the that's a knockout blow in itself. You saw the rocky style sweat come off the top of the head. The temple is a knockout area. He caught him in the temple. True testament to that uh, wonderful high five. High, high five to finish. Well, got a little blood around the ear there. Obviously, one of those four round blood has done some damage. First bit of damage I've seen, so they can sit up to 10 minutes. These two are still good looking lads. Time! Fight! Into the final five minutes of the third round. Vladislav Kanchev from Bulgaria versus Ivan the Braveheart Blue Hack, who've given us a real basic hand to hand fight here literally hand to hand fight with the occasional stamp of low kick to the leg like that and it has been a real box and whack off between these two There's only one i think two maybe shoots going in yeah they've got great great head movement and slipping the punches really well parrying the, parrying the jab fast replies Stranger, one had decided to do this. Whoever took the initiation just was like, you know what, I'm going to use my hands. And the other one decided, you know what, so am I. <laughs> so it's almost like they made some agreement. The other one, you know, what, should we just smash each other and box each other's faces off with four ounce gloves because we're crazy? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. It's as if that's happened. <laughs> Obviously, it hasn't, but that's what it looks like. 
This is mental. Absolutely chicken oriental mental. But it's making it a very interesting and different MMA fight. Not the norm. Going to the floor. Makes FSC what it is. Final fight championship. Nice, nice left up. Nice left up from Vladislav. Blew up, went back with a with a low kick, trying to disturb the base, disturb the balance. Oh, Pride rules. Fight is up to now. It's just been like a boxing fight with low kicks. <laughs> But it's been, it's been good, it's been interesting because That's it, another, another shot, that left oh, hook. Oh, he's off guard big time here, oh! Oh, it's Gluak. Gluak turned his back. Have we seen some daylight, Richard? I think we are. Gluak has turned his back slightly. Vladislav can sense the, sense the knockout. Because we've been another, another left hook. Because he thought, look, he's got his hand right up, he knows that hurt him. Another left hook. The time has gone. Well, two and a half minutes gone, and there's two and a half minutes left. They've done 12 and a half minutes of slow fest boxing, MMA glove style. These two certainly will have a headache tomorrow. <laughs> There's not certainly some sore ears. That's what you <laughs> Well, we see one sore ear already. Our fabulous FFC camera tuned into that in between rounds. Well, three minutes gone, two minutes remaining. Oh, nice big uppercut there. Blue hat. Crowd behind the fighter. In fact, both fighters. Much appreciation for these two guys. Two welterweights. Another nice left hook there from Vladislav. Nice quick return left hook from Ivan as well. So who's it going to be, Richard? Do you know I forgot to do an unofficial? I don't know how you how, have you been doing. Have we just got so carried away with the enjoyment of this fight? Well, I, I, I've been enjoying the fight, but retrospectively, kind of looking back now, I think it's been 50-50 for the first two rounds, yes. but Vladislav is yes. just seems to be taking an edge and, and nodding my head, Richard, because I know you yeah, I'm not preempting what you're going to say. Sorry, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I totally just agree. Start getting yeah. ahead. It was, you know, put me on the fence, you know, push me off, I'd say. Even first two, couldn't separate them. I totally agree. And I was going to say, I, I, like I said a few, about, about 30 seconds ago, I was seeing some daylight coming from the man from Bulgaria, and I think we both agreed. But Ivan sort of dug, dug in again. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a tough one for the oh, oh, Nice work of the Stephanie Ballas. Oh, and he smiles again. He's not particularly bothered by that inside low kick. I think he, he just, he's happy to close the distance down and step in and use that left hook. It's a tough one. 25 seconds remaining. And again, he's still on the feet. That's 15 minutes of MMA standard action. Did fantastic. Vladislav was, a, was being reactive. So Gluak thinks he's got it, but to me personally, I'd say that was a draw, yeah. A draw. Because that's, that's, even to round two, some daylight came halfway through, and I thought Vladislav was forging. We both felt that, Richard. Then, just towards the end, he managed to pull back Gluak did what he does best. Now, I think the fairest decision in the world, Richard, all day long, that should be a draw for me. Now, we are in Croatian soil. We have Croatian judges, I think. The local man pops the crowd. Is he looking for the home favourite? Black goal. He's got the 
card. The anthem to the initiator. I'll be interested to see what happens here. I really would like a draw, Richard, because both fighters, for me, were so well matched. Um, you know, you can argue, yeah. you can argue, but it's like a great hit, yeah. slightly. If you, took, yeah. you know, if you wanted to be, if you wanted to split hers, and you had to make a decision, I'm going to push off the fence. Okay. Um, if I had to make a decision, I'd go with it. Yeah, I'd go with Vladislav because of the boxing success at the end of round three, and the, and the two wrestling takedowns. Right. So, and I will echo Richard. Um, but I will be happy. With Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, these fighters have provided a fantastic spectacle for us, slugging it out over three rounds in the FFC ring. So let's hear a big round of applause once again for both of them. We have gone to the judges' scorecards for the result, and the judges have scored the fight a draw. Yes. Yes, a draw, 100%. Richard, I'm so happy with that decision. Yeah.